the same general implantation techniques apply. Whether the pump is used to treat spasticity or chronic pain, the pump is implanted in the operating room under strict sterile technique. General anesthesia is preferable. The lateral decubitus position allows access to the back and abdomen without the need to reposition and redrape. The pump is programmed by telemetry. The pump comes with sterile water in the reservoir. This is removed before the pump is filled with medication. In the case of spasticity it is baclofen. With chronic pain, the drug is usually preservative-free morphine. Ziconotide is also FDA approved for pain. The lumbar incision is made to expose the fascia. A paramedian approach is used for the lumbar puncture, and an adequate length of catheter is advanced into the intrathecal space. The placement of the catheter is confirmed by fluoroscopy, or X-ray. Satisfactory backflow of CSF through the catheter is ascertained before and after anchoring it to the fascia. The abdominal subcutaneous pocket should be made such that the pump is away from the rib cage and the iliac crest. The catheter is then tunneled to the abdominal pocket. The catheter is connected to the pump, which is then placed in the abdominal pocket, and secured to the fascia through a Dacron pouch or pump suture loops. The wounds are closed, and sterile dressings are applied.